It was devastating. And we recreated it. To start off, a PBL is a project-based lesson, which is basically where you get a question and do a project about it. Based on the results, answer the question. Our question was, which structure is most resistant to an earthquake? First, we had to pick a location of our earthquake. Based on the location, pick a type of seismic waves that had been recorded to hit there before. Seismic waves. Now, seismic waves are waves of energy created from a tectonic plate breaking or colliding. S waves, which are secondary waves, they go up and down. <coughs> Love waves. Love waves go left to right. Rayleigh waves. Rayleigh waves rule. And P waves, which are primary waves that compress. Over the past week, we've had to take quizzes to make sure we didn't forget tectonic plates, plate boundaries, and different poles and types. <coughs> tectonic plates. Tectonic plates are the large pieces of land that make up the earth. We made our shake table by gluing big industrial springs. <coughs> shake table. A shake table is a structure that creates a certain type of seismic waves. Based on the way it shakes. We took this jug and pushed it on the top board to make the springs compress and release, bounce upward, and create secondary waves. And we chose that type, secondary waves, because those are the types of waves that hit Japan in 2011 during the massive earthquake that hit. The focus of our earthquake is 373 kilometers off the northeast coast of Japan, where the original focus was from the 2011 earthquake. And the epicenter is somewhere in the North Pacific Ocean. Focus. The point in which the tectonic plates break and the earthquake starts to form. Epicenter. The epicenter is the point directly above the focus. Focus, epicenter. Our earthquake is located in Japan. Our design is supposed to be a little scene in Japan. Our design is made out of brown sugar and mosh posh for sand. Foam blocks glued and spray painted and also covered in flipped over gems to look like windows. Parsley for grass, coffee for dirt, pebbles and leftover foam, and also puff balls to look like a cherry blossom tree. Our building will withstand the earthquake because we use six toothpicks and a piece of white foam and hot glue. And then we placed the structure on top and it stayed intact during our earthquake. Good things about our design was that it was very durable, so moving it around wasn't a problem or falling apart. Overall, it looks good, and it stayed up. Bad things about our project was that it took a really long time to build. It was hard to make, and it was heavy to carry around all the time. PBLs are like real life because, while being specific, this project taught us that it doesn't matter what type of structure, but just how it's earthquake proof, how it's built overall, and what materials we use. Overall, there were no best structures. Every structure was left standing. In the end, it was just dependent on how it was built and what it was made of. Our building will withstand the earthquake because we use Guys, is this thing on? Are you guys serious? Bray! Oh wait, the red button. We took the jug and pushed it on the top board to make the springs compress and release and bounce upwards. We we made our sh shake table. Cut! Look at the strip more. What was that? Our question was, which structure... <laughs> <laughs>
special thanks to Miss